Welcome back to Primetime News, and a special welcome if you're watching online at onespotmedia.com. We begin with the latest on the coronavirus in Jamaica. The number of cases in the country has jumped to 30. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton made the announcement at a press briefing at Jamaica House a short while ago. He also gave details on the number of tests done so far. As it relates to persons who have tested positive for the coronavirus, COVID-19 are 34 new confirmed cases within the last 24 hours. So of the total number, 20 are imported cases with, of course, one death, which was announced earlier, and eight are import-related cases, the, and two are under investigation. The new cases are as follows, an uh, 87-year-old male from Manchester with a travel history, which includes New York, a 51-year-old male from St. Catherine with a travel history that includes New York, and a 52-year-old male with no travel history but a close contact of a visitor from Canada who reported ill upon return to Canada. And the fourth is a 56-year-old male from Manchester with no travel history but was in contact with tourists from several countries. And the investigation as it relates to this particular individual uh, continues. And Prime Minister Andrew Holness, however, warned that things could change, adding that the government will take strong action against persons who are not maintaining the quarantine rules. And on the matter of quarantine, Mr. Holness outlined the government's decision on the lockdown in Bull Bay, St. Andrew. We have made a decision not to seek an extension of the quarantine in Bull Bay. So at midnight tonight, that will come to an end. Uh, the, this is not to say that the residents of Bull Bay should not continue to maintain a high level of vigilance and caution, all the social distancing and the recommended hygiene practices. The Ministry of Health has eight persons, I gather, under surveillance um, for testing, and they are awaiting the results of those tests. Those persons remain under quarantine and the Ministry of Health has a heightened presence and surveillance of the Bull Bay community. So even though the quarantine will be lifted, the Ministry of Health will have a presence and will continue its surveillance of the area. Dr. Tufton, in the meantime, said changes have been made to the testing policy. He said this is in response to complaints from some stakeholders. I know that's a point of, of discussion and some amount of contention. But we have expanded the testing methodology to look at not just persons who we have traced, but also persons with severe upper respiratory ailment in an attempt to establish a control group to see to what extent the virus may be spreading throughout the community. And that is giving us a good indication as to the rate of spread. 